guys, it's Jamie and I'm here with my March beauty favorites. Yay! I'm a little late again doing my favorites, but you know, like we always say, better late than never. Um, if you hear the crazy wind, it's ridiculous. Um, what is today? It is Saturday, April the 9th and it is cold. It is crazy windy. I know you guys can probably hear that on camera. And today when I was at, we were at Target, something was hitting us and I was like, what is that? And it was snow flurries, it was ridiculous. Um, okay, so I'm gonna jump into my favorites. And you have to forgive me if these are all just repeats of stuff you've seen recently in my videos, but these are things that I've been using a lot and I'm in love with them. Um, oh my God, it sounds like it's gonna blow the house down. Okay, I'm going to start with um, all of the lip products because I feel like I have a ton. First of all, I just want to say I'm going to, I don't have everything in front of me. Bad, bad YouTube, Jamie. Um, but this Sephora Favorites Lip Kit, give me some nude lip, is my favorite. It is awesome. Um, tomorrow I'm picking a winner of my thank you and giveaway, so I'm very excited about that. Um, I have loved all of these, except I'm still not into the TARDIS lip paint, but maybe whoever wins it will find a way to love that. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna, I just mentioned this because it's still at Sephora, it's 28 bucks and it's awesome. Um, and my favorites, I guess, would be the Nude Sticks, the Marc Jacobs, and the NARS. Now, the Nude Sticks pencil is actually in my car. I just thought it was in my purse. I grabbed my purse. It's not there. Uh, it's in my car because the lid actually came off and got all over my purse. And so that's still in my car. But that Nude Sticks, that was in the color, I think it was Whisper. Um, I don't think it says it here. I think it's called, was it, I think it was a whisper and, um, love it, love it, love it, love it. So nice. This little NARS lipstick, which is an awesome size and Dolce Vita is amazing. I keep this in my purse, a fabulous nude, um, easy to apply, creamy. By the way, the nude sticks does not dry my lips out at all. It's awesome. Um, and this NARS, this is one that when and if I finish this, sorry, I feel like, am I like in the camera? I feel like I'm all like, hey, because I'm getting excited. <laughs> I need to just sit back and talk like a normal person. Um, when this goes away, I would definitely repurchase that. The lip trio that I have on today, which I'm in love with. First of all, these are not new, but these Jack Black lip balms, um, this is one in black cherry pomegranate. These are a man's lip balm, but, you know, they're really good for women. Um, but they're in the men's section. Love these lip balms. What I love about them is I can leave them in the car, and they don't melt, obviously, because they're not, like, a chapstick form. But in the winter, when I leave it in the car and it gets super cold, it is kind of hard to, like, squeeze out. But these are just awesome. Um, I still have a kit. They sell a kit at Sephora. I think they still might have it. Um, but I just love these. I just put a tiny bit of this on my lips just because I'm getting ready to put on like a matte lipstick and I just want it to be like it's matte, but it's not drying. And even though I've worn, anyway, let me just get into it. I love these. I have these all over the house. I even gave one to my dad. Uh, Wes just used one the other day and I'm like, you should put one in your truck. I have like 16 of them. I think they're awesome. Um, then this... Okay, so obviously this is not a part of the Sephora lip kit, but this baby is, and it is the Marc Jacobs Primrose Lip Liner. Now, if you've been with me for a while, then you know I'm not the biggest lip liner girl. I'd like to get into lip liner, and I bought a few last year, and I used them here and there, but I'm not a huge lip liner girl. This thing, oh my god, I love it. Um, this is the shade right here. It is beautiful, and I line my lips and then fill them in, and that's what I did today. So I put the balm on, then I lined, and I filled this in. By the way, my hair is crazy because of the wind. I just realized I have all these crazy baby hairs. Um, but this is awesome, and I have already placed my Sephora VIB order, but I think I might have to play. I think you can use that over again. I think I might have to do it again and get a full-size one of these because the wet... The way I'm using this, I'm going to run out of this, and this is definitely one that I love. It's such an awesome, like, nice, like, pinkish nude. Um, they look good paired together, these two, um, but what I'm wearing over it is, hello, late, super late to the party, is MAC Whirl, and it's a matte, and yes, this is, I'm so late on this, um, but 
I wanted it back in January and my Nordstrom was sold out forever um, and it finally came in and I didn't want to order it online because I had the back to Mac stuff so I got this for free um, and I love it I wore it that day I tried it on when I was at the mall I did a vlog with my nephew um, and it didn't dry my lips out and I've just really enjoyed wearing it like I have been and I'm just gonna put a little bit more on but it's that like brownie mauve and I know that this is not probably a great summertime shade but I've really enjoyed it right now especially because we're trying to be in the spring I mean we've had 70s 80 degree weather and then we've had like today is is it going to be 50 today I'm not sure and it's going to be 25 tonight as a low so it's really great for transition. It's going to be great for next winter. But I just, I love it. I really love it. And I'm so happy. This is my first, I think, matte lipstick from MAC because matte has always dried me out and given me issues. So um, I may as well go ahead and swatch this too. See, it's kind of like that brownish, mauve brown tone that everybody was into. And probably now that I got it, everybody's going to be out not wearing it anymore. But, you know, what can I say? I like it. I think it looks good on my skin tone. Um, and I've just been really excited to have it. Okay, so the next things I feel like you guys are going to be like, we just saw this in your It Cosmetics video. But the kit that came out... The last one I just love so much and now they're selling, um, I'm pretty sure I got an email from IT saying that the Bye Bye Makeup, the Melting Cleansing Balm is sold on their website now and probably at Ulta soon. Um, God, I love this stuff. It smells so good. Citrus like orange. Oh god, it smells good. And it does an awesome job. It gets melty, it gets in there and it takes off my Chanel Waterproof Mascara. Um, if you did if you missed that video I know that kits not for sale like at that price anymore but I did do a demo of this to show you and um, I think this is awesome um, it does sometimes leave like a film in my like on my eyes and makes it a little cloudy right after I wash my face that is not abnormal for facial cleansers for me don't ask me why it's a pretty normal thing for me to say that about cleansers period um, even my Clinique does it but gosh this takes it off and I just love it I think it's awesome and I think if you're into like cleansers and you want to try a melting cleansing balm between the Clinique and this one those two are the best hands down the best I just I don't need to try anymore because I have those two um, and we'll go back and forth between them um, the foundation that I've been wearing recently, and this was not in the last kit, it was sold in one before. Um, it is the CC Plus Veil Beauty Fluid Foundation, and I'm in the shade Medium. And it comes in a little thing like this, and you just pop it open. And so it's got the puff, and excuse the puff, because she dirty, because I've been using it a lot. And you just stick it right here, and then you open it, and that is the cushion like the cushion foundation, the sponge. Um, this is the one in the kit. It came with a backup of a refill. And I remember thinking, well, that was really nice of them, but gosh, it takes me forever to go through a foundation. Like, am I gonna really need this? Now, I still have plenty in here. Um, but what I feel like I notice is there's still plenty in there and I'm still getting plenty but I feel like this is going I'm going to use this up faster than like let's say a regular foundation in a tube or a bottle um, but what I love about this I'll tell you I'm gonna be honest with you for a minute I did the video showing this and I really loved it during the video and then the video posted and everything and then I used it again and I was like I don't know if I like this and I felt like oh my gosh like I just did a video on this telling people I liked it but I don't know if I like it and I felt guilty because I was like maybe you didn't use it long enough like you used it during that week and long story short I let it sit for a while I come back to it it's been in my makeup um sorry my eyelash it's been in my makeup bin in the bathroom because I've been recently putting my makeup on in the bathroom not in here because I want to be with Vivi and Wes and we all kind of get ready well, the two of us get ready, and then we take her upstairs and get her ready. No, that's not true. The two of us get ready, we take her across the hall and get her ready. What am I thinking? Anyway, so I threw this in there because so I thought, this will be easy. Just try it again. I have been using this just about every day. It's very light, and it's a very thin foundation. Um, 
my mom got this kit and I think I'm going to probably get this from her because it's not enough for her. She doesn't really like it, but I really do. It's just ultra thin and you just pop it on and it's just easy. And I've been into real easy everyday makeup recently. Um, but like I said, this is very thin. It reminds me of just a nice, easy, light BB cream, even though it says it's CC plus. Um, but I really have enjoyed this. But like I said, I think it just does a nice thin layer of coverage. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much. Um, you know how long this is actually going to last. I'll try to keep an eye on that so I can report back. Especially if this goes. You know the the compact part goes into my empties. I mean the um, refill. Good grief! I cannot talk. I'm gonna be honest. The wind is distracting me. <laughs> <laughs> if this part goes into my empties, I'm going to try to keep an eye on the fact of, you know, I know how long it takes me to finish a foundation or a BB cream. It takes me a while. Um, so we'll see. But I have really been enjoying this and I feel much better about it because, like I said, after that video, I didn't use it again. I don't know what it was. Maybe I just wasn't into it that day or my had a bad attitude. I don't know. Sometimes that can happen. Um, the last two it things and then I have another brand and... Um, like I said in that video when I showed the kit, I wouldn't have gone out and bought this ever. It's the It Bye Bye Pores Airbrush Silk Press Finishing Powder. I would have never bought this ever, ever, ever because I don't use finishing powders like this. Not on my dry skin. Um, I'm all about the dewy. I'm all about the glowy. I would have never, ever bought this. Um, I have used this just about every day. I love it. And the brush that it came with, Peter Cottontail brush right here, um, the Heavenly Skin, it is the Bye Bye Pores Powder Brush, number 701. Phenomenal. These two, ah, it's like a match made in heaven, and I love it. And I have it on today. In fact, I'll just put a little bit on. And this is how I do it. I don't even, like, focus too crazy much, but... I still feel like I have a glow underneath, even though it does kind of matte your skin a little bit. Um, love it with a brush. Have tried it with this because I'm like, I was like, you know, I could go get a brush. And thank you guys for your recommendations on some of the little, like, small brushes you can put in your purse. And I probably will need that. But at first I was like, I'll just use this. I do think that the sponge for me picks up too much of the make of the powder. And it made my nose look real powdery. Where with a brush, I don't look powdery at all. So that's just my little thing. I actually did use this. Thing. It's nice that it comes with something, um, but I think a fluffy brush is the way to go with this type of pressed powder. But it is beautiful, stunning, flawless look. Love it. Now this is something I've had for a very long time and never used it. It just got lost in the shuffle. It's what happens when you have lots of brushes and this is a short guy, so she got pushed to the back and I didn't didn't pay attention. It's Trish McAvoy. This is the number 23 angled crease contour brush. Now, I got this when I went to New York with my mom, like what, two years ago almost? We were, I went, we hadn't even moved into this house yet. And, um, we both got one, and I can't believe that I hadn't used it at all. I washed it and pushed it aside and never used it. But look at this. It is such a thick, like if you can see that, I don't know if you can see that, such a thick brush for a crease brush. Like typically for a crease brush, I use like a MAC 224, which looks like this. They're very different. And I like, I love this brush, but I have loved this brush. I just like dab it into the shadow and really just place it like right here in my in my crease area onto my brow bone. I used it today. I'm using the um, Urban Decay regular, the first Naked palette. And I used, um, gosh, it's in the bathroom. I didn't bring it, but I used like the matte color and I just used it like this. And then I went back in the corner with the same brush and just flipped it out so that the pointy side was here and did a little of sidecar in the crease and talk about easy, um, easy. And I like the, it covers a lot of real estate. You know what I mean? Like it's not, it's not going to be a precision brush. You're not going to, it's not a precision brush. It's going to get 
it's gonna cover a really nice area. So you can see on my eye right here, like it is a thick area that it covers. So this may or may not be for everyone, but I have really enjoyed using it. It's just super easy. Um, and I feel like you can't really mess up with this one. And if you want like precision, precision in your crease, this is not for you, like I said. That's it, that's all of my beauty favorites. Um, I've been sticking to a lot of the stuff that I showed in my last uh, beauty video, my uh, last favorite, sorry, Jade just bust in the door. Hey girl, hey girl. Um, but yeah, they're my favorites and gosh, I have so many videos I wanna do coming up, so stay with me and I'll have them coming. Oh my gosh, Jade. She's like a bulldozer coming in here. You gonna howl for everybody? <laughs> She's crazy. I think she thinks it's time to EAT, but it's 2.40, girl. It's not time yet. <laughs> She's a nut. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and thank you so much for all your comments on my thank you video. I have just loved reading those. Um, they just brought a smile to my face, and I have just loved it. And I can't wait to go pick a winner. I mean, by the time this video is, goes up, I will have already done that. But as I'm filming, I'm just really excited about it. So... Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.